Welcome to Your Sports Swindon. I'm joined today by Chloe from the Wilts FA. Chloe, we're here at um, Wilson Bassett Sports Ground today at the, the 4G pitches, this new league that the, the Wilts FA have, have launched. Tell me a little bit more about this Flexi League. Um, so basically, is what it says on the tin, uh, Flexi League. Um, the flexible part of it comes just from taking aspects of the traditional game and just making it flexible and accessible for, for everyone to, to come and enjoy. And tell me a little bit more about how it exactly works, you know, how many players, the, the duration of the game, you know, what makes it different from your average Saturday or Sunday football match? The, the flexible part of it is, as I said, certain aspects that we've got, um, so the games are 50, minute, 50 minutes long, um, so they just do 25 minutes of a half and switch, straight, straight switch around and then they can go and play, play another half. Um, uh, it's also flexible in that there's uh, role in substitutions, um, so they don't have to sort of worry about putting their three or four subs on and that's it. Um, so they can just come straight off and straight back on again, have a breather. Um, it's flexible in, in also the sense that we've got it on a Tuesday night, so it's not, as you said, you're not your typical Saturday, Sunday afternoon, two, three o'clock kickoff. Um, it allows people to go to work, go to the colleges or schools um, and have their normal working day and then come and play a bit of football just for a small bit of an hour of the, of the day. Um, so that aspect of it has really sort of helped it um, just become football for all, essentially. So when did this start and what's the take up you know, been like? How many teams have you and players have you got involved now? Uh, it started back in October, so the, the leagues are about there and they're about 15 weeks long. Um, with a small break in between, um, we've got at the minute we've got an under 21s league or division, um, and an over 35s, which we dub our veterans division. Uh, we've got four in our under 21s and six teams in our veteran side. Um, but it's been sort of really highly praised, and um, it, they, they absolutely enjoy it. And it's 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 fantastic for them to be able to play the normal football because um, some teams are well-established teams and some are just mates that come together um, so it's nice that both sides of the, the football story I suppose can enjoy it. And what's the state of the game like in Wiltshire right now um, because a lot of leagues have, have lost a few divisions haven't they so is something like this hopefully gonna you know gather more interest in, in the game again? Yeah that's, that's um, pretty much the premise of what we like to do so either if we're picking up teams that might have folded or teams that perhaps are losing players um, and just to gather that interest if this can be perhaps a feeder to then sort of inspire and, and for teams to, to then want to go on to, a, to join our local leagues that was sort of job well done for us because that's sort of what we want to do we want to keep football playing and um, if it's a means of sort of growing these two age groups or expanding into other age groups then that's also fantastic to help grow other local leagues around Wiltshire. And of the players that have been playing, have you had much feedback from them? Are they, they really in, enjoying the league so far? Yeah, most of the feedback that we've got has been sort of, you know, good, good, well, fantastic feedback, really. Um, it's just people have really enjoyed the, the flexible part of it. And I keep saying about flexibility, but it's been nice for them to perhaps maybe do something else on a Tuesday night and then know that in two weeks' time they get to play football again. Um, and, but it's, it's, the feedback's probably just because it's easier for them to play um, and also it's obviously it's on top of what they can already do um, or just something that they can do instead of doing nothing um, but also the facility has just been praised as well I think that's probably been the more praise that we've got out of everything has been this fantastic facility that they get to play at. Now this league comes to an end I believe February, around about end of February are you going to do this again? You're going to start a new league and you invite in new teams to, to come and sign up? Yeah, that's, that's certainly the plan. Um, so we're sort of in planning preparation at the minute for, to look for um, perhaps the age groups that we might use for the next 15 weeks. Um, so we might continue with what we already have to tr try and grow for an extra sort of 15 odd weeks. Um, but if not, if there's demand and there's interest from perhaps open age male teams or open age female teams, we'll happily accept it and consider all, all sort of options. And if it grows to the point that we can have different venues or different days for this to be played on, that's it'll be even better. So um, the plan is, is to keep this going because it's, as I said, it's a chance to play again and it's um, just, it's just giving something. It's just giving them something they they're able to do. 
Uh, for anyone that's interested in, you know, joining a team or putting a team in or suggesting a, an age group or, or a category for you, what do they have to do? Uh, just contact Wilts FA um, and ask for myself or, or Adam or any member of the development team will be happy to help. And um, if there's anyone interested and wants to just register their interest, just let us know and we'll keep sort of a good, a good tally of it. And should there be enough demand to run certain, certain days or certain times or certain venue, then we'll do our best endeavour to, to endeavour to do that. Thank you very much for joining us and, you know, best of luck with the league. We look, look forward to seeing it, you know, prosper. Thank you. Cheers.